Premier Comrade Mielakov, Comrade Agents, thank you for coming. Here's what we know so far. Ten years ago, the United States government covered up an invasion by an alien race known as Furons. And their primary agent was this Furon, Cryptosporidium 137. Dangerous, unpredictable, now deceased. So, what is being problem? The problem, Conrad, is that Furons can clone themselves and pose convincingly as human. And they've used these abilities to put Cryptosporidium-138 into the White House. Then the American people are not noticing? <laughs> ah, right. Pull the other one. Even worse. This new crypto clone contains pure Furon DNA, harvested from human brains by Orthopox 13, mastermind of the invasion. He also bears a mysterious new mutation, referred to only as the package. These aliens pose a dire threat to the Soviet Union, comrades. And so must be. Destroyed! As we speak, President Crypto is in Bay City, attending a new cultural festival. And Orthopox? Conducting experiments in the Furon Mothership. There's only one way to deal with such men. Revolution! Uh-oh. That can't be good. Whoa. Greetings, comrade. Mother Russia sends her regards. You expect me to beg, human? No, little Furon. I expect you to die. Mine's big. Crypto, are you receiving the mothership? 
ship has been destroyed! You must come to my aid immediately! Follow the distressed beacon to my location! Virtual pox, huh? Kinda constricting, ain't it? Well, beggars can't be choosers. I need to bring in some big guns. Uh, know where I can get my hands on some. I did manage to jettison some data cores before the mothership was hit. You might be able to recover some weapons from them, if you can find any. But it certainly won't be easy. Okay, so, where are the data cores? That's just it! They could have entered the atmosphere at any time, in any place, and therefore landed anywhere on the planet. I've managed to locate only one. It was ejected after my holopox unit, so it landed quite nearby. What's a data core? You never studied, did you? A data core is a device used for storing weapons or other Furon technology. The outer casing is extremely dense and should have easily survived the fall to Earth. The only real trick will be finding them. I didn't bring any with me. Figured, uh, heavy artillery ain't exactly the smoothest way to charm the jeans off a pacifist hippie chick. Oh, I knew it! I knew your unnatural interest in humans would bring us nothing but trouble! Whoa, 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 you're harsh in my buzz. Mellow out, Poxy. Easy for you to say. You weren't blown to pieces just seconds before restoring your own genitalia! Well, I guess there's nothing left to do but scout the area and find that data core. Ha <laughs> ha 
I don't understand it. We blew that alien spacecraft out of the sky, and yet the shriveled geriatric one somehow survived. These Jopas must be harder to kill than we thought. I spit on them! <laughs> Nonetheless, inform the Kremlin we shall proceed with the operation as planned. Tell them we need as much Revelade as they can ship, as quickly as they can ship it. Da, Agent Orincho. And our American distributor? He suspects nothing. In fact, he seemed quite enthusiastic about the whole idea. He thinks he'll be spreading revolution in a paper cup. And so he will. But not, I think, the sort he expects. Idealists. They spit on them! Pleh! Stalin, he understood. Ideas may start revolutions, but guns and gulags finish them. Well, no matter. Soon the citizens of Bay City will be embarking on a very bad trip. <laughs> Jeez, Box, my head's still spinning. What the hell's going on around here? Why are those Ruskies gunning for us? Frankly, I'm more concerned with how the KGB managed such a successful twin strike. They're not usually so organized. We need to find them, Crypto, before they spring any more surprises. Okay, so what? I just start knocking on doors and doing the slicing dice? You do not. The KGB are hardly likely to hang around if you just start indiscriminately blowing away humans. Yeah, well, I was just brainstorming. Well, stop. I've done a little research in the criminal files of the local constabulary. Apparently, there's one informant in Bay City who always knows what's going down on the streets. They call him the Freak. The Freak, huh? Yeah, I've heard about him. Cat's got connections all over town. He's kind of a burnout, though. From what I hear, he doesn't even need drugs anymore. He lives in his own personal mental lava lamp. But if any of those stinky monkeys knows what the KGB are up to, I bet he does. And I suggest you locate him and find out what he knows. All right, enough chit-chat. I'm off to find our little hippie friend, the Freak. You just crossed the thin blue line. <laughs> Thank you. 
this an emergency? We got him. 10-4, all units stand down. Tiger Lily. If you ask me, everyone down to the park is a freak. Promise me some of the primo stuff if I visit him on the hill later on. He's kind of creepy, but I do love his fine Colombian. I am king of the lizards. Hey there, uh, Moon Doggy. Uh, I'm looking for a dude with his ear to the street. The kids call him the Freak. You found him? But I'm all tapped out, man. The heat's coming down on me, you know. Try me next week. Well, what I need is information. What do you know about the Ivans in the cheap suits who crashed our party? You mean those KGB cats? Yeah, those dudes are straight, all right. They make Jack Lord look like Abby Hoffman. Only they didn't crash, man. They were invited. Who invited the KGB to uh, harsh our buzz? From what I hear, it was that cat who leads the commune. I don't know his real name, but he calls himself Coyote Bongwater, which is pretty righteous. Supposedly, he's like this master of tantric meditation and spiritual healing. All I know is Cat's got the chicks eating out of his hookah. So he's catnip to Las Gadas, eh, amigo? For sure! All the chicks really dig him the most. Up to them, Coyote Bongwater would be running that commune like a king, which he practically is anyway. Okay, you piqued my interest. Where do I find Coyote Bongwater? Well, from what I hear, he's kind of paranoid. He doesn't hang out at the park for long. I heard he's got a pad someplace, but I don't know where. What I do know is he's cutting into my livelihood. Dude's been handing out this new turn on a drink like in a in a can. He calls it Revelade. Ain't that a bitch? If you want him, that's your in. Find some Revelade and you'll probably find Coyote Bong Water. What's in this Revelade stuff? He claims it's like an all-natural elixir that enhances your cosmic awareness or something. Bonewater says it's the first shot in the global revolution against the man. Great. Great. Like the monkeys aren't revolting enough already. Thanks, Freak. I gotta go find Coyote Bongwater. I can't believe I just said that. Go ahead and laugh, Squares. In ten years, I'm gonna start a computer company in San Jose and own your asses. Start the revolution without me. I'm feeling a little gassy. Flatfoot, gumshoe, pig, buzz, dick. These are not attractive terms. Wait, 
back at the Bijou tonight. Mel, boy, I've been a naughty girl. I let my knickers down. <laughs> Inside, I am being hysterical. And next week, we'll start one-on-one -on -one Shakti tutoring. I'll be giving each of you private Hands-on instruction in Kriyanish Pati, the highest state of tantric arousal. These sessions can run ten hours. So eat a good breakfast. Uh, 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 uh. That's it for today. Remember, wherever you go, I'll be there. The shine in your Japan, the sparkle in your China. Bodhisattva, Bodhisattva. Ah! God damn flashbacks! Guess again, sunshine. Nice little setup. Guns, cheap Russian booze, teenage bra burning hippie chicks. Man after my own heart, if I had one. Then join us! We're about to free the people of this city. Soon they'll see the truth and embrace our beautiful new utopia. The Bay City Super Organic Communal Collective and Compost Farm! Are you with us, man? Am I with you? Dude, you're bogarting the brain stems. I'm gonna have to kill you. Kill me? Run along, comrade. My men can handle me. Pacifist. What a crunk. Perimeter breached. Get bong water out of here. Hurry! Bong water out of here. Get him out of here. Now! What's the buzz? Tell little green phallic symbols! You know, the more I listen to Morrison, the less they can make. it hanging, freak. Uh, listen, I need a little more info. All right, but hurry it up, will ya? You're making me nervous. Hey, freak. You ever been to Capital City? Yes, I mean, no. What would I be doing in a town full of squares and eh, politicians? And I ain't never been to Nam neither. 
Here's the thing. I found Bong Water, but he got away before I could ice him. Whoa. I don't know, man. You didn't tell me you were going to get violent. You didn't ask. Smart hippie. Okay, okay. Maybe I've heard some things. He's gone underground and come up with a new plan to distribute his revelade. Great. What's that wacko up to now? Get this. Somehow, he got his hands on a whole bunch of blimps. Blimps? What's he gonna do? Start a tire company? It's not what's on the outside, man. It's what's on the inside. Gas. He's gonna gas the whole city with revelade. Wow. That's so wild, it might just work. Well, I'll tell you this, Bongwater's been drinking his own Revelade if he thinks his scheme's gonna work. Whatever. Hey, you coming to Jade's party? What? No, I'm gonna blow up Bongwater's blimps full of Revelade, didn't you hear me? Easy, man, mellow out. What am I doing talking to this creep? Pox, we got a situation here. Bungwater must be drinking his own product. The freak says he's planning to fumigate Bay City with giant blimps full of Revelade gas. Great galaxies! That's so moronic, it just might work. So let's get flying, huh? I'm itching for some serious payback. Not so fast, my ultraviolet minion. My scan of the engine core has revealed some critical damage. Ah, oh, crap. The good news is ancient Furon landing beacons were left here eons ago during the war with the Martians. If you can find and activate one of those beacons, you'll be able to summon your saucer. Neat trick. And then, I kick a little monkey ass. What's up, Tiger Lily? Callahan, You're not trying to arrest me, are you? I hereby order you. By the long face. What? Hey! Why shouldn't students run the world? Worked in Russia! Amuse thy languid Furon god, zap my idol with bolts of electricity. Attend the holy syllables of the great Arkvoodle. Thank you. 
saucer here, Crypto! No sweat. It needs to be aired out every 5,000 parsecs or so. It appears the saucer took a hit. Or 12, on the way here. No, no, no. Don't say it. I'm afraid we can't possibly take off until the engine is repaired. Ah, oh, man. up those repair pods and swing back to the saucer. Oh yeah, it's payback time. Serious I and I, intoxication and intercourse. Happiness is a warm gun. You know, maybe some babies want to be killed. Did that ever occur to you people? Then put it back. Does that belong to you? I didn't think so.
are wonder you? if my nudist monthly came in the mail today. Right on! Time to boogie!
those infernal blips. Thank you.
mismo. Man, that was so real. I'm getting a little tired of that chauvinist.
You all right, man? So, uh, you into politics? That President Huffman's doing a heck of a job, ain't he? Huffman? Are you high? America's become like one giant Orwellian nightmare! Thanks to lying corporate flunkies like him, human race would be better off if he'd never been born! Well, can't argue with that. Just tell me where Bongwater is so I can whack him and get back to making hot monkey love. When you're packing a new Ferrari, you don't want to gather in dust in the garage, you know what I'm saying? Not really. And Bongwater? What can I say, man? Nobody's seen the dude. Well, nobody's at Prudence, I guess. Who's Prudence? Uh, his insurance broker? Ah, dear Prudence. No, she's Bongwater's new protege. Kind of a revolutionista in training. <laughs> Anybody knows where Bongwater's at? It'd be Prudence. She sounds like a real firecracker. Maybe I should introduce myself. All right. I'm off to introduce myself to Prudence, see if I can convince her to give up bong water. Guess I better take it easy on those hippies at the park. Last thing I need is Prudence Kane's rich publisher daddy calling up the chief and chewing my ass out. Here's the deal. You give me coyote bong water, or I toast me up some hippie s'mores. Capiche? Whoa, we got a narc over here. Hey, narc, why don't you just go back to Narc Central and narc around with the other narcs, you narc? Ouch, that stinks. Just the sort of response I'd expect from a narc. You know what, you're right. I'm sorry. I must have mistaken me for someone else. Please go on. Well, that's more like it. I accept your apology. Come by my tent later and I'll do this. Now then, where was I? Look, Princess, we ain't here for the opening act. Where's Coyote Bongwater? Sadly, our leader, Coyote Bongwater, cannot be with us today. Because he is setting in motion a grand design to transform this entire city into a countercultural utopia. Bay City is about to become one big happy commune. Suck on that, Daddy. You gotta be kidding me. 
that patchouli reeking nutbag. He makes the rest of you hippies look lucid. Okay, I'll give you the patchouli, but our beloved leader is not a nutbag. He is a cosmic visionary, a love child of the revolution, wise in the ways of political, spiritual, and sexual healing. He's a stinking monkey with delusions of grandeur, or a crook, or both. He is not! He's a great man! Stinky monkey. Great man! Stinky minky. Great man! Ah! Easy, princess. Pop another valium. All right, so what's Bongwater up to this time? So how can Coyote Bongwater possibly free the minds of a whole city the same way he freed our minds with Revelade? How did I know that was coming? Revelade? Oh, I heard that stuff will give you a limp -ling weenie. limp -ling -weenie? Wilts your vine, tames your tiger, chops down your magic beanstalk. What? A park full of potheads, and you're telling me nobody here's ever had erectile dysfunction? Last time I opened up to you, people. Revelade sounds yummy to the tummy, so uh, where do I get me some? He's gonna pour it into the bay! Soon the masses are gonna be begging us to lead them in revolution! Those Revelade trucks could be a serious pain in my ass. And I haven't blown anything up for at least ten minutes. Much like a figurative transformed robot, there's more to this than meets the eye. This Revelade isn't a coincidence. It's an attack! Take out those trucks immediately! Hang on!
be so bad? Can I just drop out without turning wanted money for school? Nobody said anything. Damn, shorts are right now.
Arkvudo requires slaves. Female slaves. Preferably buxom and scantily clad. By the sacred genitalia, heed the will of Arkvudo.
experiments! Right on. Now's my chance to nail that sleazy weasel once and for all. Elsa Skelter! Revolution is coming, man! That was awesome! <laughs> Agent Orangeoff, come in! Uh, I failed. You'll have to... start the revolution without me. Yet. Yet? B but... The city is useless to us now. I mean, have you seen these people? They make the students in Prague look like a meeting of the Politburo. We shall destroy this degenerate city and return to the Soviet Union with the spacecraft fragments we have managed to retrieve. But what about freeing America from the tyranny of capitalist consumerism? Do not despair, comrade. The party will long remember your efforts to cripple your decadent nation. You shall not have died in vain, or in out. But... no! No! I wanted to save America, not destroy it! Oh, man! What have I done? Uh, excuse me. Sometimes it's kinder just to put them down.
Thank <laughs> you.